This is an attempt to make a thumbnail, by the way. I can't even see the other things I've shoved in my hands. Alright, I'm bored of that. Let's get right into it. Sat this muck in a bear. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, if you didn't already know. And today I am filming what I got for Christmas because it was actually asked for, which I was really shocked at. Yeah, it was a request of a few people. And I'm gonna do a big old disclaimer right now. I don't want to show off or brag. I am very, very, very lucky and I've done so well and I didn't even expect half of this stuff, more than half of this stuff. You like to, I like watching these videos, I like seeing what other people got for Christmas. So um, here I am showing you my Christmas gifts for 2020 and um, I'm quite glad I got such lovely, lovely gifts um, and it's very nice for such a crappy year to be honest with you. So <laughs> I just put like my favourite bits and pieces uh, one of the things that I can't exactly show very well is money. I got money for Christmas which is really nice off various different people. So I'm very very fortunate for that because it's one step closer to getting myself a Nintendo Switch. I think I'll start off with my most unexpected present ever. And it was from our family friends and they got me a Breville Panini press. I've never asked for one. I never would buy one for myself, really. But boy, am I happy to have one. I think my dad was also very excited to see this because I think he wants to use it before I go back to uni. And I'm sure my housemates, when they watch this, they'll be quite excited that I'll be bringing this with me. So, yeah, thank you very much to the partners for this because. Damn. Moving on to a bit of booze. We like a bit of booze. I like a little bit of booze. A lot of booze actually. Most booze I do like. And my family clearly know that because from my parents I got some lovely Gordon's Mediterranean orange gin. I've never actually had this before. I think it's not like new new out but it's fairly new out I think. So I'm very very excited to try this. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I was meant to be doing um dry January as well to raise money for mind and now I'm questioning whether I should just postpone it and do like a dry February or a Lent, give it up for Lent alcohol. So we shall see. And the second lot of booze is from my Nana and she got me this from when she was on holiday and it's a bottle of Wise and Vandal Rosé but it's got me name on it. Look at that! Got my name on it. Someone's running the tap in the bathroom. So these are my booze. Very happy with my booze. They're like my two favourite booze. White Zinfandel and gin. Flavoured gin. Kind of related to that aspect. My best friend Georgia, who knows me very, very well, also knows how much I like my drink. <laughs> and she got me my own personalised gin glass. Why the heck? Is there rabbit hair on it? That's Evie! She got me my very own gin glass and I don't have my own gin glass and it's got my name on it. It says Lauren's Gin with a little flower detail. I'll probably have to do a close up later because you won't be able to see that but it's so nice. And then she pairs it with this edible glitter kind of thing so you put like a pinch of it in your gin and it makes it all sparkly and I'm really excited to use it and it's rose gold and it's just gonna, oh, in the orange gin as well like, oh. can you picture it because I can and I'm very excited about it um Georgia the same friend spoiling me as always also got me this very fit mug for me ew people because you know that is a mood isn't it Especially for 2020, some people are not very nice. So, um, this was very fitting. She knows me very, very well. And she knows I love mugs as well. I have an addiction. I have like 16 mugs. What we're gonna go to next, I Oh, something I'm actually wearing now on my eyes is 
this. It is the Glossier, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's the Glossier Lid Star in the shade, is it Cub? I think it was. Yeah, Cub. And it's super, super pretty. I have it on my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see it because it's like my first time wearing it so I think I probably should have put a teensy bit more on. It's buildable, it's so nice, it's so soft on your like, on your lids. Um, I've been wanting it for absolutely ages as well. So my auntie got me this and my uncle and little cousin. Um, yeah and I'm super super happy to have it because I've been wanting it for so long and now I've finally got it. So happy days, happy days. From a family friend of ours, she got me this Body Shop Vitamin E cream. I'm really excited to use it. It's just, it smells so nice. It kind of smells like roses. It doesn't actually have a scent on it, but that's just what it smells like. Oh, it's vegetarian. My mum also got me, and my dad. Um, she also got me this Elizabeth Arden lip Balm. Um, but I have had this last year as well and I'm literally scraping the bottom of the little tub um, so I'm really really happy that I've got this because it's the best best lip balm ever if you've got the worst chat lips ever that will save them from literally it will revive them and restore them and it's amazing I could not recommend this stuff if you've got bad lips more so yeah my nana also got me this. It is the Face Halo reusable face pad to remove your makeup and I've seen these on Instagram and it's so tempting to buy them um, but I didn't and it's kind of a good job because my nana got me one anyway. You only need to add water, you don't need to add any product onto it, you literally put it into some warm water, it takes all your makeup off, you rinse it and put it on the radiator and it will dry for the next time and then just like once a week maybe shove it in with your towel wash and it will wash it yeah face halo i directly definitely recommend them because you know disposable cotton pads aren't very good for the environment and this is definitely a more sustainable option and i'm trying to put more effort in to be more sustainable and my nana being amazing again also got me this turban hair towel so this Hair towel has got argan oil in it so it will help replenish split ends and frizziness not that my hair is very frizzy anyway but I definitely had have split ends and I'm really excited because I don't actually have a hair towel I always just use my like I just let it drip so yeah I'm really happy about that I realize how much stuff here is actually from my nana <laughs> these are the best chocolate drops ever they are from Atkinson's, which is a coffee shop in Lancaster. So these are Belgian 75% cocoa drops. And you put like two spoonfuls in some, in a pan with a teensy tiny bit of hot water, melt it together to make a paste, and then you add your milk and heat to the desired temperature, and it, oh. uh, And also got me, <laughs> I'm yet to use this as well, um, but it's it's deep sleep pillow spray and it smells like lavender supposedly if you spray this on your pillow before bed it will help you sleep I'll let you know if it works because I'm a bit skeptical and my nana also got me this little necklace you probably can't see it when it's in a bag so one moment but she got me a necklace and you know in case I forget my name it's got my name on it so it's really cute, it's just a silver chain, silver pendant thing that just spells out my name. Um, my nana and granddad also got me some Gymshot leggings because I have one pair of Gymshot leggings already and it's a black pair and I wear them so so often so um, they got me another pair, a grey pair. Um, so I'm very happy about that because I honestly wear them so much and it'll be nice to have another pair for when the other ones are in the wash. <laughs> my nana got me this for, um, she said it was a table present for when we had our Christmas dinner. And it's a, it's on the little box, it says sending you a hedgehog. And on the inside it's just a little pot hedgehog. And honestly, it's the most adorable little thing. I absolutely adore hedgehogs. 
as you may already be aware and this is just like my cute little pal and I'm yet to name it, I might call it Henry yeah, I think I'm gonna call him Henry okay, last, actually the last thing that my nana and granddad got me is this 2021, because we're hoping for a lot better of a year a little planner and it says Monday is a state of mind put on your positive pants and get stuff done and honestly I need that motivation in my life because goodness knows my uni grades are gonna gonna feel it at the end of this year um, so yeah I'm super excited I can't wait to you know stay at home in it and then stay at home again stay at home and drink um, a few lectures here and there <laughs> then also a family friend in fact Kate, she's actually my boss as well um, she also got me this notebook with the body shop cream and it's so pretty like look at the colour of this it's the most beautiful mustard colour and it's so pretty on the inside as well and I can't wait to make notes in it and oh beautiful then my little sister which kind of goes nicely considering I've got two um, a little diary and then a notepad is my sister got me a little pen for Christmas, a Ted Baker one which is really sweet of her um, so I, I do love a pen okay the two things that I left are from my parents um, one of them is quite simply another battery for this camera that I'm recording on and the last thing from my parents is some Lily England curling Ones. it's a barrel wand I tried to use it yesterday it didn't quite go well I don't quite know how you meant to do it I thought it was going to be easier than it was um, so if you have any tips for how to use a barrel wand let me know but it's like this it's rose gold um, and you've got your little snappy clamp thingy here and uh, yeah <laughs> that's all I can really say about that so yeah, I have done so so well for Christmas. My Christmas wasn't to myself because you gotta do it. Is a new laptop. I had to put this in here because I absolutely adore it. And I also bought myself a uh, stylus pen to go with it because I was not paying 99 quid for a Windows one. Um, but yeah, it's the Surface Laptop Tube. It's a certified certified refurbished one. So it was cheaper than like a brand new one face recognition there's me and Georgia wait 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 come on you can do it there we go there's me and Georgia and my big old to-do list of everything I've got to do Christmas present to myself and I got this little pen as I said so I can do my little doodles for these videos um, and yeah I'm just very happy with my purchase yeah so that's just a few bits and pieces i got spoiled again <laughs> from so many people and i'm so 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 lucky and fortunate and thankful and great so grateful for them giving me gifts you know they don't have to especially this year when it's been so tough for everyone so um yeah i am honestly luckiest person ever yeah i hope you guys watching had a lovely christmas no matter where you are and what the circumstances for you were as i said at the very start of the video i'm really not trying to show off or brag um i was quite shocked to see that people asking for this video because i never thought anyone would be interested but here we are and yeah thank you so much for watching this video i really really appreciate it if you liked it please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more videos from me you can subscribe that really helps me out i hope you have a really nice new year um and here's to 2021 being a lot better than this year i shall see you in another video